What's up guys, this is Gunzilda here, and today I'm bringing you some Predator gameplay, and I'm going to be going in-depth and going to be talking about the ins and outs of the Predator. So the Predator is actually a field order that can only be obtained on the map Ruins. So only one Predator can be called in per game, so once it's called in by the, your team or the enemy team, regardless, that's it for the game. You have to wait to a completely different game to try to obtain it. Now, once you complete your field orders and you know you throw it down and try to see what you're going to get in the crate, you have a good chance of actually getting the Predator as well because there's like a good like 50-50% chance of getting it. Now, once called in, the Predator will drop in a crate like the Maniac. And speaking of the Maniac, the Predator is very similar to the Maniac far as you have increased speed, you have increased health, but doesn't regenerate, and you're not really enough to be a Juggernaut, and you have your main weapon as a melee weapon. Now, the Predator, however, does have a few things that are different. It has the ability to turn invisible, has heat vision, and has rockets that you can use as well. Now, how does the invisible cloak work on the Predator? Well, it's automatic. If you stand still for short or long periods of time, you will become invisible. But when you start sprinting, you will slowly become visible until you're completely visible. So I know a lot of you guys were worried about the balancing issues with this invisible cloak. And I think they've balanced it really good as far as not too many people is going to be standing still for that long to really become completely invisible. So most of the time, you'll see the Predator visible. And I find that the invisible cloak is quite hard to spot, especially from a distance. No up close, it's easier, a little Bit easier to see. Like the invisible cloak, you also have the heat vision mode where you can switch back and forth between heat vision and normal vision seamlessly by a push of a button. You push LT or the left trigger to activate and deactivate heat vision. Now I actually use heat vision quite frequently, especially in this gameplay and normally when I play with the Predator, I use heat vision because it's very easy to spot enemies. You know, it targets them in this bright orange color and with everything the background being blue, orange stands out and so yeah, it's just very easily to spot enemies. Furthermore, you have a rocket that you can use as a weapon for the gunfights at short to medium range. The rockets have a lock on time and a reloading time, so you probably won't be using the rocket solely as your main weapon. You'll probably be using the melee weapon most of the time. Now, the Predator actually has one last thing it does before getting taken out, which is really awesome. It explodes with a KEM on the entire map, killing everyone. This is actually a very cool feature. I love that they did that. It actually pops up a little screen on its arm and starts tapping away, and then it explodes. And it's just, it's very good, you know, and it kills everyone. So, I mean, it's almost guaranteed a death. You're almost guaranteed a death, especially if the enemy team has that field order. And I know everybody's going to be, both teams are going to be going for the field orders. So you better hope that your team gets the Predator. Otherwise, like I said, you're guaranteed a death. So let me know what you guys think about the Predator. Are you happy that the Predator's in the game? Have you yet to play the Predator? Have you played with the Predator? I want to see your guys' thoughts on it, and I'm very curious. I'm going to be looking down in the comments down below to see frequently throughout the day. And I actually have already uploaded two previous videos if you guys want to check them out. I'll have more uh, Call of Duty Ghost Devastation DLC videos throughout the day as well, and I'll see you guys in future Ghost videos.